Do you have that 2020 sensation where global crises crash into each other like tectonic plates? Where pandemics unmask long-standing inequalities and injustice? Where colonial hangovers and racial violence are hurled into the air like fists? Where statues are appended under the shadow of elections? Where long summers are suspended in supermarket queues? where you scavenge the pasta shelves only to find discarded three-word slogans and streets littered with the debris of applause, where the wettest and driest and hottest months on record dance side by side to the chimes of the news bulletin and forest fires and floods stand less than six feet apart. Do you have that 2020 aspiration to change hearts and chase possibilities and dreams? Do you have that 2020 anticipation for exploring our present existence in all of its nuanced complexity? Because it's time to human again. Time to exhume the bones of what it means to be, navigate the strange, we narrate the story of our living online or face to face. We face the historical and the day to day. We beam the magical, interrogate the canonical and best of all, we festival to explore and contest the meaning of human. Hi from the Hunterian in glorious Glasgow. We're delighted to be joining Being Human 2020. We're getting ready for the Being Human Festival here in Dundee. We're going from lockdown to countdown. Hello from Cornwall, I'm Dr Ruth Heehaw. This is the lovely Star Glazers Cafe where we're doing our Being Human event which will be a short talk on dystopias. I'm Francesca and the great North Museum de Hancock and I are getting ready for the Being Human Festival 2020. My online event is Making Medieval Ink and I'm very busy preparing all the post-out kits to those participants and I'm really looking forward to it. People in Swansea look forward to this festival every year. They know it's coming and they want it to come. Well, 2020 has been a challenging year for all of us, I think, uh, and more than ever, people want to learn new things, we want to connect with each other, and we all want to find out more about what being human actually means. Uh, and so festivals like Being Human are a really important part of giving us that space to do that. And this year's theme of New Worlds is particularly powerful given 2020 has been a new world for all of us. What we've been doing is we've been working with a number of partners across the city and county to have conversations about objects in their collections, to think about how those objects can make us reimagine Derby's history, but also think about what the legacies of empire, exploitation, of exploration are for our city and county today. We are going to be talking to members of the Sikh community and members of the wider community about the painting that's behind me. So talking about how it's best to think about the painting, to discuss the, what's happening inside it, the narratives, and also to talk about how best to explain it to other visitors. It belongs to the city of Derby. This isn't just a place where objects come to die and be in a case and, and not be thought about and not be reimagined. This is a place that's a living gallery. My name is Phil Smith and together with my creative partner, Helen Billinghurst, as part of Crab and Bee, we're inviting local residents to use our work packs, which we will deliver door to door, to write their messages to the future and to turn them into boats, which we will launch through the flames of a fire here on the beach, propelling those messages into the future as smoke on the wind. As part of the Being Human Festival, we are creating the People's Palace of Possibility, in which participants receive various things in the post uh, which guide them on a mysterious journey. So my name's Linda Bloomfield, I'm producer with The Bear Project, and uh, today we're here in my garden. Uh, because of Covid, we've been doing most of our work from here, so we've got children playing in the background, uh, we've got birds flying over, 
Um, and this is where we've done all of the packing of the boxes for the People's Palace of Possibility. It begins with a letter like this one, with a secret message within, which then leads people to a website which reveals more about the story and more about the palace and enrolls people as palace citizens. And then the big one is this package that is received, which includes a series of tasks for palace citizens to complete. So we were really excited about being humans approach to involving local people in the work that's happening within the university, not only in a kind of a one-way communication of this is all the amazing research that we're doing, but also as a way that citizens could share their ideas and their views. What I really love um, is the title, um, the idea of New Worlds. I think that is absolutely where we need to be right now. We need to be optimistically thinking about how we can build new societies. And the arts and humanities have got this fantastic capacity to reimagine society. We can look at all the resources, cultural resources we have in collections up and down the country, small and large, to think this could be a different world, it could be a new world, and it can be a better world. And that, I think, is a really valuable part of what humanities can do and what the Being Human Festival this year will offer us all. From Glasgow to Swansea and the breadth of the in-between, there's a myriad of theatres, museums, universities, palaces, charities, cafes and galleries preparing over 240 activities, whether socially distanced or via live stream technology, gathering ideas and groundbreaking expertise, finding new ways to frame this new world. From Glasgow to Swansea and the breadth of the in-between, we'll be sharing creatively the scope of the humanities, what it means to be we. Whether over cups of tea or over the internet, a festival to challenge the knowledge and intellect and connect the dots of living, of being human, in our new worlds.